Okay, y'all, it's time for more curriculum. So, today I'm going to be telling you what I've chosen to do with my fourth grader, yes, fourth grader, um, for this upcoming school year. Um, hold on, I forgot one thing. And I'm back. Okay, so, for my fourth grader this year, um, things aren't going to be changing up a ton. Uh, most of the changes will come in our group and morning work, um, but there will be some slight changes. So we're going to go over those and I'm just going to show you what I've got. Um, I will try to see if I can put any links to anything um, <clears throat> down in the comment or down in the description, but also if you have any questions about anything, um, a lot of this is stuff that we have used in the past, so I could explain it to you or I could show you in a flip through. So just let me know in the comments. Also, I would love to hear after I finish what you are doing with your kids because I love to watch curriculum videos. I love watching curriculum reveals. Even though I don't change what we're doing much, I like to research. I definitely have my dream curriculum that I would like to use maybe someday, but currently isn't necessarily in my price range um, and so I just like to look at them I enjoy it and I like to read the comments because I get even more ideas there so give each other some help give each other ideas by commenting below what you are using if you have a fourth grader so on to the curriculum uh, for math if you've seen any of my other videos you know that we are a Saxon family um, while it is not the most exciting curriculum. Um, it works for our family. My kids have done very well. I've seen a lot of improvement. And so, <laughs> sorry. Um, so we're just going to continue moving forward with Saxon. And I don't see us switching anytime soon with this. So um, he will be starting in level six, five. Now this curriculum is for advanced fifth graders and kind of lower end to middle average sixth graders. So yes, he is slightly advanced in his math. Um, but he is thriving and he is doing well and he's not really having anything yet that he's come across where he is just like incredibly overly frustrated and doesn't get the concept. Um, sometimes we do go back and slow down a little to go over things but for the most part he's just been chugging along so we're gonna continue forward um, I do not foresee us moving past this level this year we will just move through this one one sec okay that was our window unit air conditioner turning on because we're in Georgia and our air conditioner is broken so yeah pause that for a sec anyways so Saxon 65 but this is not the only math he is doing first off this year we did standardized testing um, because it was he's required to do it this year and um, the one area I found that he was uh, he kind of really struggled in was word problems which is funny because Saxon does a lot of word problems um, the first half of every test are word problems and he seems to do fine with them but for some reason just kind of your run-of-the-mill word problems seem to trip trip him up a little so I don't have this here. Um, I ordered it, but then it was unavailable and didn't get shipped. So I still need to order. Uh, I think we're going to do the, I think it's Evan Moore's. Um, he, there's some daily word problems where he would just do one problem a day. And so he's just gonna use that to warm up. And we're getting the fourth grade level. So it should be um, relatively simple, basic things for him just to, get a little bit of extra practice on those word problems. So nothing too strenuous. But also, something that we started this year um, in about February, early March-ish, um, we actually start, I started Beast Academy with him. I have wanted to try this with him for a long time because it's touted as being good for gifted math students. And because he is so advanced, um, I liked the idea of using this. Now, what I've gotten from Beast Academy and looking through everything is 
it just it kind of makes them look at math from like a different direction which I like for him so I found this at a consignment sale for really cheap for the entire program and um, for the entire level two so all four of the books so they're written as a comic book style so there are four in each level and then they come with the actual book so he was actually working through um, puzzles some logic puzzles that they had already for the entirety of the year so he'll still do those but um, he started this and so far we've liked it but we've only done the first book because we got it so late so this year will be about finishing up this level two which is very far below his level um, he's done addition kind of um, number sense and I think he's getting ready to move into, or he'll be moving into subtraction with this next book. So this next book will be doing subtraction, expressions, and problem solving. Then he will move to um, measurement, um, plus and minus strategies, odds and evens, and then he'll do big numbers, algorithms for plus and minus, and problem solving. So nothing more really than um, addition and subtraction, but one, it's a really good review for him, and two, I think it just makes him look at things a little differently, which is really good for him. So, the plan is to use this this year, and when we get through it, we will reevaluate and see if we want to move to level three. Did we like it enough? Did we not like it enough? I don't know. So, I will let you know what we decide whenever we finish this. So, that's math. Sounds like we're doing three curriculums, but they all serve a purpose. Um, we move very slowly through this curriculum. We just do, you know, he reads it and then just does one or two pages a day. Very simple. We don't sit down and do an entirety of a lesson in one sitting. So, yes, it's two curriculums plus some extra work, but it hasn't been overwhelming so far. Okay, let's move on to, <coughs> um, let's do science because I think that'll be the most simple. Um, this past year we did the good and the beautiful science this year um, we're actually going back to what we did our first year which is easy peasy science we really did enjoy the good and the beautiful and I do see us going back to it eventually someday but a lot of the science this year is probably going to be very one-on-one -on -one between him and I his brother is moving to harder science above him and his younger brother will join us sometimes but as a first grader isn't quite ready to learn on his level so even though um, my fourth grader Hunter he will be doing the worksheets that are meant for grades one through four um, I don't think my first grader is necessarily ready to dive into this so we will be learning he chose I let him choose um, his choices were biology zoology and physics and chemistry and he chose physics and chemistry I was a little dismayed at this only because I know this is going to come with a lot of experiments to do, but um, I think that'll make it fun. I think his first grader, the first grader will join us for most of the experiments and we'll see if he can join us for this. So I ordered this offline. This is just, it was like five bucks. It w It's just all the printables for Easy Peasy, all the little worksheets. And you can get these free online and usually I did, but this... I think will just help hold me accountable like <laughs> seeing what I have to do next. So we will be doing easy peasies physics and chemistry this next year. So he's excited. Um, I'm nervous but we'll see how it goes. We enjoyed we did earth science with easy peasy our first year of homeschooling and we did actually really enjoy it for the most part. There were some parts that weren't our favorite um, but I think that's how it is with all science. Not everything's going to be your favorite. So we'll see how this goes. And I'm really bummed. I really, none of my kids are interested in learning about human anatomy. Um, I was really wanting to do biology with them just because I am a human anatomy like freak. I love the subject. Um, it's what I studied in college. But my kids have no interest. So continuing with their interest right now. Okay, um, moving to language arts because really it's just going to be math, science, and language arts that he does on his own. Everything else will be group work. So, let me show you 
what we're doing. We get it in order here. Okay, we will be continuing in the good and the beautiful. Um, we will be on level four. Now, my oldest did this level last year. Well, he did it kind of the end of his fifth grade year, the beginning of his sixth grade year, finished it up. So, um, and I really enjoy this level. Um, this is this is a fun level. Okay, so this one comes with two books. So I'm going to talk about them separately because I'm going to think of them separately for him. So this is the course book. This is mostly grammar. This is the grammar, geography, and art is mostly what's in here. Um, so this is the geography and the art really start to take off in these levels. So if you've done the younger levels and you've kind of felt like the art and the geography is wishy-washy, how can they claim to do those? Just wait. Okay, they get better and they just get better from here. I've so enjoyed the art and the geography in both level four and five and I'm excited to do level six with my oldest this year. So this year my son, my fourth grader will be learning pastels and this level was so fun for the pastels. Um, we learn how to use the proper way to use them. Um, we practice different techniques and we do different pictures. Um, let's see if I can find. Okay, so this was a picture. This is such. This is a very long art lesson. So this was a long. Can't see that. And in the end, they end up with a picture that's similar to Starry Night after they learned a little bit about Vincent Van Gogh. And that one was so fun to do. Um, and I think. So my oldest who did this level is so not into art and he's enjoy he enjoyed it. This fourth grader that's coming into this level enjoys art a lot more. I think he's going to absolutely love this. Um, he's gonna love doing it with me. He's gonna love doing it on his own. All of it, like, he, I, he's, gonna, he's gonna love this. I'm so excited. Um, and they learned some really cool geography things. Level four is fun. It has some like baking in it that they get to do, some cooking. So I know they'll, we'll, we'll make gnocchi. We'll make, um, oh, shortbread. We will make, what is this? Um, Irish, or no, a French yogurt cake. Um, yeah, there's just some really fun things in this level. So I'm really excited. Now this is the spelling and writing workshop. So they will do a lesson in here every day and then they're supposed to come in here to do spelling. So they'll have one day will be spelling, the purple is spelling, so one day will be spelling and then the next day will be a writing assignment. So they do writing every other day. The thing is, well two things. Um, the way we ran our school this past year and that my kids want to keep doing next year is that we did two days of LA and two days of math and they just would do two assignments like when they would have their LA day they would do two assignments so they were still getting four a week. So he'll do four assignments <laughs> or he'll do two assignments in this book in one day and then he's supposed he would have to do two assignments in here so he would do it spelling and writing at the same time. And that's a little bit overwhelming. The thing is he told me this last year that he doesn't really enjoy the spelling um, that he's done so far. Now the spelling changes in level five. We will start back with spelling with the good and the beautiful in level five. Um, but he told me he just didn't feel like it was working. Um, and I was really proud of him for being able to like recognize that and um, speak up about it. So um, I definitely listened to that and we looked at a couple of different curriculum online and so this year he will do, so what he'll do for language arts is he'll do two lessons in here on Monday and Wednesday and then he'll, and he'll do the writing. So he'll still do writing every other day but it'll be every time he has language arts he'll do whatever the writing assignment is. It's not always a writing assignment, sometimes it's just um, learning some concepts of writing but, and then every day, so every single day, he will have his Evan Moore building spelling skills, grade four. Um, he looked through this, he said he liked this, he wanted to do a more, what I saw as a more traditional <coughs> spelling and have a spelling test every week. Um, and then if he's not passing off words, we will then create kind of a master list of words he didn't get and learn, relearn those. 
and that's kind of what he wanted to do um so this is very you know cut and dry but it has different kind of fun exercises um during the week for him to do and um that's what he wanted to do so i listened and took note the other thing that i am doing this year as a separate subject even though the language arts in here is in level four is actually the readers are wonderful and they are some of my favorite re readers I do want my kids to do a little bit more in terms of diving deeper into their reading. So we are going to try out Easy Peasy's online reading. And I ordered these because I don't want my kids just reading off screens all the time. I want them to actually have the books in their hands. So all of the reader reading assignments are in here. That's why this is so thick. But they work in conjunction with the online program if you want. If you don't want to be online at all, you can order these and it will give you, for example, you know, read chapter 34. Um, his wife is sick. He says she needs a bleeding, which is a mistaken medical idea. It explains what that is. Um, and then after you read the chapter, go and tell someone. So it has them do a lot of narration. Sometimes it will have them go write something. Sometimes it will copy a vocabulary word. We will be using in conjunction with the online program where things like for their vocabulary words, it will ask them to, it will give them a little game to play or some, where they have to match vocabulary words and different things. Um, so there's like little games that go along with it when you play it, when you use the online version, which is my plan. So we will be working through this. So the books he will be reading this year are, ready? <laughs> Um, oh, that's the second half. Let's go the first half. Okay, um, he's going to read some selections from the McGuffey Third Reader. He's going to read Swiss Family Robinson, um, selections from the Peterkin Papers, The Railway Children, A Little Princess, more of the Peterkin Papers, The Storybook of Science, which is a nonfiction book, and then if there's time at the end, he'll finish reading the Peterkin papers and doing things with all of them. So this is a 180 day program. Um, I don't know if we will finish the whole thing because I don't know if we're going to do it every day. I'm thinking we will not do it on Fridays. So we will do it Monday through Thursday. Um, so I will let you know how I like this. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about the books that they have to read. Um, yeah, I think it just, they, they have a really good selection of good wholesome books and starting to teach kids how to dive into them a little bit more. And so that is my fourth grade curriculum picks. So to summarize, math is going to be Saxon, Beast Academy, and Daily Word Problems. Science is going to be Easy Peasy's Chemistry and Physics. Language Arts will be The Good and the Beautiful's um, Level 4, The Good and the Beautiful's Handwriting. Then we will also do Draw Right Now. We will do Evan Moore's Spelling, and we will do Easy Peasy's Reading. So let me know your curriculum picks, and yeah, can't wait to hear from you, and I hope you all have a great summer. Bye now.